why why did you decide to run? Well, uh, I noticed that when we were doing when we were working on a consolidation effort, that the elected officials uh, weren't listening to the people, and that's bad when you're when you've got a government official that's not listening to the other folks. And I decided that I would run and and be the people's voice and listen to the people and and perform county government the way they wanted it performed. Uh, now, how are you feeling right now? We're getting real close to go time. My feet hurt, uh, and because <laughs> I've been standing all day, but I feel good about what we did. Uh, we did everything we could with the amount of funding that we had, and I feel real good about uh, where we're at. Yeah. Now, um, there doesn't seem to be a huge turnout. To no, vote. it was small. Now, how, how does that bode for you, do you think? Well, if the turnout is larger in the county than in the city, then I think we're in good shape. If the, if the turnout is larger uh, in the city, particularly on the east side, where my opponent's probably got a little bit of a, an advantage, then, then uh, it may not be so good. But I think we got a good turnout in the county. Now, if you win, what's your first order of business going to be, like the first month or so you're in office? What are you planning? Well, I haven't won. Uh, this is just the Republican primary. There still is the fall election. Even though there is no Democrat uh, slated at this point in time, they could still slate somebody. So let's not get the cart before the horse. Uh, this is just the Republican primary. 